Welcome, my name is John Brunswick and I'm thrilled to introduce the Salesforce One Ignition Pack. The pack contains a suite of six integrated Salesforce One applications, taking into account a user's physical location, their skill set, as well as the social business context for various account interactions. There's no better way to understand the pack than to actually see it in action. So let's join Kathy in the field and watch how this supports her day. The end of the year is coming up and Kathy needs to close one last deal. She uses Gist in the morning to keep on top of all of her accounts. Gist scours the web and ranks, sorts, and organizes all of the top news for accounts she's working on. She can use her thumb to swipe over the top stories to quickly get up to speed to see if there's anything important going on. If she finds one she's interested in, she can simply tap it to open it to drill in to look at the details. Here's an event going on at District Hall that might be of use. As she goes down the list, she sees each of the accounts she's recently worked with. For each one, she sees how frequently the account's been mentioned on Twitter based on how blue the icon is, in addition to if the news about them is positive or negative based on the colored icon to the right. By tapping on Salesforce, she can see at the top the general trend of how often they've been in the news, as well as all of the top tweets and traditional news sources. Now, the whole point of GIST is just to get to the meat of things, so filtering options, no matter the date range, always return just the top items. Going back to the main list takes filtering a little bit further using actual business conditions. She could look at news for things that are in negotiation or, in her case, companies that she's meeting with today. Here she can see things ahead of time before getting in the meeting just at a glance. It's an incredibly effective use of her time and allows her to drive deeper discussions with those companies understanding their business context. She's got to run to her meeting, so let's wish Kathy luck as she gets on the road. As Kathy's driving over, she gets the call that no account exec wants to get. Max has to postpone their meeting, and this means she can't close that deal this quarter. Kathy's not going to let that meeting cancellation get her down. She pulls over and takes out Salesforce One. Using the Scout application, she can see what opportunities are nearby. She can see what accounts, the distance, an indicator that allows her to tap back into GIST to see the news, as well as all the opportunities within that account. And for any of the opportunities listed, there's a circle that indicates how well her skill set aligns to the skills required for that opportunity. Now, Scout gives us traditional filtering criteria, things like distance, account rating, but it also allows us to filter on things like skill set and the sediment of the particular news for the account. If Kathy wanted to, she could even tap View Best Bets, which will pull up positive accounts that match her skill set. Here, she's just going to select positive. She notices a couple matches, and she thinks that, let's see where I am on the map with something like District Hall. She taps the map icon, and it opens up the account in an interactive map allowing Kathy to get a sense of where in proximity to her location the account is. Now, Magellan also runs as a standalone app. And if Kathy opens Magellan, it does functions associated with traditional mapping, like showing what's matching inside our search radius, but it goes a little further. Things like the size of the pins relating to how many opportunities there are within a given account. If she taps on a map pin, it pulls up buttons that allow us to link out to the account, opportunities, contacts, gist, but also things around drive time. The filtering also goes a step further. Here, beyond distance or rating, she can look at social characteristics of an account. She can look at sediment analysis of the news. And if she submits, it now brings up a view where the color of the pin relates to positive or negative news. The size of the pin relates to the volume of the news. If she zooms into her particular area, she sees two accounts that are pretty close. She taps into work bar and takes a look at the drive directions. 
She sees estimated drive time and distance, and given that rush hour is coming up, she's a little uncertain if she could make that meeting. So she taps on another, and District Hall appears to be perfectly located. The drive is trivial, and now it's a matter of figuring out if they have availability to take the meeting. Tapping on the pin, she can tap into contacts, and she sees that Steve Inno is the main contact. She taps into his account, and from his contact record, can easily tap to call. She has a quick conversation with him, his afternoon's open, and he'd love to have a meeting. Just because Kathy's alone doesn't mean she needs to go into the deal by herself. Tapping on the colored indicator next to the opportunity opens deal fuel. At the top of the screen, we see what certifications are recommended versus what she's achieved. Coming down a bit further, we see a cram session. It gives her a contemporary way to engage with content where there's no more pinching and zooming a PowerPoint on an iPhone. She can swipe her finger over the top of the screen to move it and can even access audio content directly within the materials. Going down a little bit further on the main deal fuel page, she's able to access a quiz. This again is a very contemporary approach. By swiping her finger to the left for false and to the right for true, she can move through a deck of cards to help reinforce key knowledge that could be useful for her session. These are things that are meant to be quick, painless, and educational that she can do to make the most of the time she gets with prospects and customers. She finishes out and goes to meet Steve. Kathy was in such a rush this morning that she left her laptop at home, but it doesn't matter. Using Postbox, she can select a contact and using a publisher action, she can leverage Postbox to share a document or documents through email or through a community with them. Through the interface, it shows the total number of items she has access to, as well as if anything has been selected. Within the list, the documents are color coded based on their business purpose as opposed to file type. If she scrolls to the bottom, she can infinitely page through all available items. Coming back up to the top, she knows what she wants to share with Steve, so she uses the filter action. This allows her to search or select a library folder. In this case, she's going to go ahead and select two items, and if she wanted to, she could go to the selected items and remove any one of the two or both. In this case, she goes ahead and shares them through a community. If Steve didn't have a community user, Postbox automatically creates one for him. Steve gets an email with his link and is able to go directly to create his community user. When he logs in, he sees all of Kathy's contact information as well as the documents shared with him. He opens up the presentation and they get started on what will turn into a great session. The next morning, Kathy gets a note from Steve and is thrilled that he's moving forward. She's in an unfamiliar city though and needs to lock down a conference room to get the final paperwork done. She opens the Kaku app and it brings up all of the corporate services near her location. This includes things like office specific services like front desk and maintenance, in addition to city-wide services like food and beverage, and global services like human resources. She scrolls to the top and taps on Adam Robbins to give him a call. It connects her with Adam, and through a brief discussion, he's able to confirm that everything is locked down for tomorrow so that she can have her session with Steve. She's thrilled. She ended her year on a great note, and come to think of it, who needs a laptop anyway?